Remember to keep water handy and drink plenty during your workout. Work out on a wood or carpeted floor. Make sure you wear comfortable clothing and appropriate shoes. Functional fitness uses the same movements that you use in everyday life. Whether you're playing with the kids, you're cleaning the garage, or you're playing your favorite sport. It's efficient because you work groups of muscles together instead of isolating muscles. Hi, I'm Kathy Smith. Welcome to my peak fat burning workout. I'm really excited about this one. You can probably tell. You know why? Because it combines the most efficient training techniques that we've ever come up with. It's interval training and functional fitness. So let me tell you a little bit about it. First of all, interval training will turn your body into a fat burning machine, and we all love that. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do short bursts of intense exercise, followed by a few minutes of doing easier moves that will allow your body to recover. Training like this has two huge advantages. First of all, you're gonna burn a lot more calories than you ever would in a typical aerobic workout of the same length. And secondly, because of your elevated metabolism, you're gonna burn more fat for hours even after you're done. So we're gonna start out with the warm up to make sure that you're really ready for those intervals. Then we'll do six intervals with a two minute work phase and a two minute recovery phase. Now what makes this workout really special is that during the recovery phase, we get to do functional fitness exercises. These are exercises that are designed to give you the additional benefit of all the toning that you want during the recovery. Combining functional fitness with intervals quickly and easily maximizes calorie burning and increases muscle definition at the same time. Throughout the routine, we'll be demonstrating different exercise modifications. If you're just starting out or you've never done an interval workout before, it's very important that you build up an aerobic base by following these modifiers for at least a few weeks. Then as you get stronger, you can gradually begin to increase the intensity during the work phases of the intervals. If you're just starting out, follow Adina and Nancy. They're both wearing blue, so they're easy to spot, and they're always gonna be doing the less intense version of each exercise. Bill and Robin, on the other hand, will be doing a more advanced version, and they're wearing green. Remember, to get the most out of a workout, it's important to be working at the correct intensity. And one way to measure the intensity of your workout is with the heart rate monitor. But whether you're wearing one or not, I'll be reminding you on a regular basis about how your body should be feeling at certain points in the routine. I've also included a simple formula at the end of this video to determine your maximum heart rate and target training zone. Regardless of how you determine your intensity level, be sure to listen to your body and only do what you can. So you ready? Let's get functionally fit and start our workout. Let's stand with our feet shoulder width apart and inhale out to the side. Here we go, lift it up, exhale out. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up, knees are slightly bent. Now reach the arms overhead, pull them back down, round and forward. Let's try that again. You reach up, down, you round through the back and again, reach it up. Now each time you round forward, I want you to stretch through the shoulder blades. Reach it up. Let's make the movement even bigger this time. Up on the toes, reach tall, reach forward, reach tall. Drop it down, round it. Two more sets like this. Last time through. Now we're gonna go into a new move. It's a demi squat or a half squat. So let's just bend the knee, knees and sink back into the hips. It's down and up, down and up. Now the more advanced you are, you can sink a little bit deeper into it. Making sure the hips are going back. Let's add a low back stretch to this. So let's keep it down, round. You release it and stand up. When you round the back, I really want you to press through the back again. Down. One more. Let's stand it up and step side to side. Okay, it's time to warm it up now. We're gonna take this move, and you're gonna move forward toward me with your hands going forward. Move it back, hands go out to the side. Let's try that again, here we go. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Arms to the side as you start to move it back. Two more sets, just like this, forward and back. So it's four counts forward and four counts back. Start to make the movement a little bigger to warm up the body. Last time forward, last time back. 
New move is alternating knee lifts. Let's step right and bring the left leg up, side to side. You pull that elbow to the opposite knee, but the key here is not to hunch over. Keep the shoulders back. Another set of eight. Four more, and then we're gonna take this into double knee lifts. So give me two knees on the right. Pull those arms forward, now on the left. Side to side, now the right. Four more sets like this. So this is one set. We have two more sets. Heel lifts back, 16 counts. Now drop the hands in front, cross them across you, right in front. You're bending that leg behind. It's called a hamstring curl or a heel lift. Give me eight more. Then we're gonna put these together with those double knee lifts. So give me two knee lifts on the right, two knee lifts on the left, and four heel lifts. You got it? Let's try that again. Change the arms slightly. Here's the knee lifts, and on the other side, now watch these arms. Arms go up and down, and again. Knee lifts right, knee lifts left. Arms go up. Last set, all the way around. And the left. Arms go up. Now we're gonna cut, cut down the number of repetitions, so give me two knee lifts on the right, right to heel lifts, right here. You got it, other side, knee lifts. And a heel lift. Back to knee lift. So it's two, and two, and two, and two. All the way around again. Two knees, two heels. Last time, all the way through. We're gonna put this together now with that step side to side. Move it forward, here we go. Arms go forward, we're moving it forward. Now push it back, arms go to the side. What happens? Two knee lifts on your right. Heel lifts back. Two knee lifts on the other side. Heel lifts back. From the top, move it forward, all the way from the top. Okay, now, you should be feeling comfortable right now. Not out of breath, still comfortable. Two knee lifts right here. Heel lifts. Other side. Okay, you ready? Last time, all the way through. Now that we're feeling warm, guess what we get to do? We get to stretch that body out a little bit. Give me two knees over here. Other side. Okay, let's tap, 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 tap. We call these tap, 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 tap. Tap side to side. Now we're gonna take it down into lunges. So bring that down and you gotta slow it down a little bit. Side to side. Four more. Let's hold it on the right side and let's stretch it out. Oh, it feels good. You have to turn it all the way around. Stretching out the calf by putting the calf directly behind the toe. Hips are squared off and pressing forward. Okay, let's bring the back knee in, round through the toe, roll through the toe, sink into the stretch, and now you're feeling it right in the hip flexor. Now to get this stretch, you have to make sure the shoulders are directly over the hips. Let's transfer the weight to the back leg, keep that leg bent, and stretch out the front hamstring. You're supporting yourself on the back leg. And now, to get a little deeper stretch, I want you to round the back. And as you come back down and flatten that back, really press through the hips. Let's take the toe down, come back to center, round it all the way up, and go back to the lunge on the other side. Lunge. Okay, we have to do the same stretches, we have to do them on the other side. So let's hold it on your left side, turn it around, and again, you have to reposition that foot so the heel directly behind the toe. And now I want you to make sure the hips are squared. They're not open, they're squared off, and you're sinking into those hips so you can feel the stretch in that calf. Let's bend that back knee, roll through the front toe, through the back toe, sink into it. Now a lot of times for the stretch, I really have to squeeze my buttocks to feel it. I have to squeeze forward so I feel it in my hip flexor. Okay, transfer the weight to the back leg. Let's finish off with that hamstring stretch on this side. Remember, you're supporting yourself on that bent leg. And now to get a deeper stretch, we round the back, we press the back, straighten the back, put the toe down, come to center, roll all the way up, march it out, and. Okay, I want you to keep on marching here. We're gonna warm up the body a little bit more with the aerobic warm up before we do that first interval. Looking good. Okay, let's march it out. You ready to pick it up? 
Okay, now if you want to watch somebody who's real advanced, you watch Bill and also Robin. If you're kind of in the beginning stages, you want to watch Adina and Nancy. And I'm going to be somewhere in between, so let's start with alternating knee lift, step it right and bring the left leg up. You got it. Now, we got 24 of these, so you can get real comfortable with this move. We're going to preview everything we're going to do in that first interval right now. We're going to start with knee lifts. We're going to add an arm to this. Bring that elbow out to the side about shoulder level. Right there, you got it. Breathing should be comfortable. We're starting to get the heart rate up a little bit here. Let's punch the arm overhead. So let's take it up overhead. Punch it up. Boom. Now, if you want to, you can come up on that toe. Think about those abdominals. Keeping those abdominals lifted the whole time. Give me four more. Last two. March it out. Here we go. Okay, now, we're gonna take this into alternating side steps. Now again, the purpose of the aerobic warm-up is to get you warmed up for that first interval. So I need you to work these moves a little bit. Let's sink to the right leg first, now the left. It's side to side, and notice I'm sinking the hips back and I'm really reaching with that toe. But I'm not reaching forward with my shoulders. Keeping the chest high. Okay, let's give me doubles on the right now. Two on the right and two on the left. Do twos again. So these are our double taps. Four more sets. This is one and two. We're going to take this into a two step. You're going to move it to the right for two. Now move it to the left for two. Take it back to the right. Left again. Four more of these. Now we're going to keep this two step going and add an arm circle with a skip like this. Arm circle skip. Now, notice that this skip is the same as a two-step. It's just a little bit more intense. Let's combine this with our double tap to hold for a double tap. Give me that skip or the two-step double tap, and let's take it back again. Let's try that again. It's two taps, and then we skip across. Two taps and a skip. One more each direction. Okay. Let's keep it going, here we go. Last, these are the last two. Okay, we're gonna do this whole thing from the top with alternating knee lifts. Step right, step knee, step knee. Now, this is the first move of the interval. We have four more of these and then you're gonna see a change in the music and a change in the intensity. Give me two more, it's time to pick up the intensity, it's time to work, are you ready? Go, boom, pop it, boom, pop it. Go at your own pace, but I need you to push yourself a little bit right here. Four more. We've previewed all these moves. Let's go into single taps. First on the right, here we go. Right, left, right, left. Pop it. Four more. Give me a double tap on the right. And slide to the right. Double tap on the left. Slide it back. One more each direction, here we go. Pump it, pump it. One more back, let's take it all the way from the top. Give me those knee lifts, let's take it. Boom, boom. You got it, from the top. Pump it up there. Get some air. Four more. Four. Go at your own pace, but I need you to push yourself a little bit. Alternating side taps. Boom. Boom. Four more. Give me two taps on the right. Slide to the right. Circle the arms. And again. One more each direction. Doing a great job. You can all, we're almost there. Remember, this is a two minute interval from the top. Alternating knee lift. Go. Okay, this is the last time through. You can do it. Challenge yourself now. Four more. <laughs> last two. Single tap, side to side. Pump it. Keep those shoulders back. Keep the chest up, but work it. Four, three. Double tap on the right. Slide it across. Double tap left. One more each direction. Okay, you're almost there. Come back to center, alternating knees. We're gonna finish off with 12. Pump it, this is it. You gotta give it to me now. We're almost done with this interval. Last eight, you can do it. Eight. Okay, we have last four, three, last two, this is it, you can walk it out, go and walk it out, go, Whew. March it out, catch your breath. Gotta bring that heart rate down. Now in these intervals, heart rate goes up, we gotta bring it back down, and to do that, you need to make your moves a little slower. 
Let's take it out and march it wide. Take it out. Now, we're gonna use this time, it's called an active recovery. We're gonna use this time to strengthen the lower body. Firm up the butt, the thighs and the legs. Let's start with the squat. Here we go, take it down. Now notice what I'm doing. I'm sitting back into my hips. Knees are not coming forward. They're not coming forward over the toes. I'm sitting back. I'm making sure that my weight is in my heels as I go back. Now let's change the range of motion. Hold it down for eight. You're right at the low point. Your weight's in your heels, knees behind the toe. Take it mid-range now. So you're mid-range. You're halfway up, halfway down. Let's take it to the top of the movement. Accent up and down. Do. Squat into it. But you're at the top in motion now. Let's finish off with four regular squats. Take it down and up. Down and up. Let's go through that series again with the pulses at the bottom. So hold it here. Now when I'm down here, I should almost be able to bring up my toes. Weight is in the heel and I'm sitting back. Working it now, mid-range, right here. Pump it, pump it, pump it. You got it. Take it to the top, up and down, and pump it down. You got it. I need four squats to finish it off. You're almost there. It's really gonna shape the buttocks. If you learn to sit back into this squat, let's step side to side. Okay, now we're gonna preview the move for the next interval. It's a skate move and it looks like this. We skate it, we skate it, we just bend the knee as if we're skating along. Rockefeller Center, here we come. Let's hit it. Go, you gotta go. Now low impact side step, take it low, low. Let's do that again. We skate for four, we skate it high, we pop off the floor. Now we take it low, and let's do the same thing, but move toward me, skate it forward, go. Okay, remember, you wanna get yourself breathless again, so let's do another set of this. We're gonna go into a new move. It's gonna be a step forward to the right, and then come back and hop. It's step together and hop, step together, hop. Right, now left, now watch these arms. Out and hop. We have two more of these, you're gonna do the same move, but you're gonna go at a diagonal, Cross the body. You got it. Now move it, hop it. Two more each direction. We're gonna take it from the top with that skate. Let's combine it. So this is the routine. We skate for four. We low impact back. Skate forward again for four. We side step back. Go right into the step hop with your right leg. Here you go. Step, hop, step, hop. Two more, take this in a diagonal, across, punch it. Push yourself now, from the top, skate it out, now go. You can do it, you gotta get yourself breathless. This is the last time through. You gotta work it now. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Take it back, right into step hops, right leg goes forward. Now hop it out, left leg, right leg. Diagonal, across the body, go. Okay, we're gonna finish with 16 skates. You gotta push yourself, push, push. Now as you're pushing, if you wanna go really high, bounce it up, bounce it up, pop it off. Otherwise, keep it down, low impact, don't bounce off the floor. You have four more, and march it out. Notice how I cheated there a little bit. Got out of doing part of that by pointing out everybody else. We gotta slow it down. You gotta catch your breath now. And to do that, make your movement slower. We're going into a one-legged squat to support yourself on your right leg. Here you go, take it down and up. Now notice all my weight is on my right leg. The more advanced you are, you pick up that left leg. Let's take it out to the side. So now I'm tapping that leg out to the side. Each time I come up, I come back together. Let's switch legs. Let's go to the left leg now. One legged squats, down and up. We have four of these, so we have two more. Then we're gonna go right into a side lateral. To do that, I take my right leg out to the side. I don't put my weight on that foot. I tap and pull back. Four more. We're gonna alternate sides now, so let's go back to the other side. Let's do the side lateral, hold it there, lift the leg, lower it, let's go to the other side. Side lateral, lift, lower again. Now, this movement that we're doing is strengthening the lower body. We're working the quadricep, 
We're working the hamstring, the buttocks, and we're working all our stabilizers. What's important right now, though, is this is an active recovery. We're trying to bring our heart rate down so that we can really work that next interval. We have two more of these. So really watch your breathing. You should be bringing, your breathing should be a little bit more controlled. Come back to center and march it out. March it out. Okay, we need to preview that next move, which is gonna be four knee lifts to your right, like this. Go, four, come back to center, and walk, walk it out for four, three, two, let's do the same thing on the left. It's four knees, come back to center and walk it out. Okay, you know the routine. That's the move, let's pick it up. Go, whoa. Prance in the center, prance it out. One, two, three, other side. You gotta pump it and pump it. And now you gotta prance it, go, go. Four knee lifts on your right. Pump it, you gotta make it bigger. Challenge yourself. Now I want you to jog it, I want you to get those knees up there. Other side, again, do whatever you can, but challenge yourself. Another set, let's go, pump it. Back to center, go, four, three, two, other side, go. Jog it out. We're gonna do one more time, all the way through. Let's go. Back to center, jog it out. Get those legs up there. Other side. Back to center and jog. We're gonna add on. Jump rope's going now. We're gonna add a double jump and go. In and out. Now singles, it's out and in and out and in. Let's go doubles again. Let's take it. Out, in, out, in. Singles. Four knees to your right. Let's put it all together. Prance it out. Get those legs up there if you can. Got to get yourself breathless. Go. Back to center. Okay, double, double jumps. It's out and in. Single jumps. Here we go. Out and in and out and in. Doubles again. Singles. One more time. Last time from the top. Four knees. Go. Woo. Jog it out. Now work it. Come on, you can do it. Other side, four knees. Get those knees up there, come on, up, up. Now doubles out and in. First it's out, it's in, it's out. Now singles. Doubles again. You're almost there, I swear we're almost done. This is it, last eight singles and we get to march it out. You can do it, now march it, go, whoa. Okay, now listen, you really push yourself that time. I need you to get your heart rate down. To do that, you have to breathe. Make your movement smaller. Step back with your right leg. Step back to the left leg. So it's step and in. Nice and slow. Nothing too big. Give me two more of these. We're gonna use this to set up right here. I want you to hold back with your right leg. Weight of the left leg, let's take it down and up. Take it down and up. Down. I'm making sure my nose is right over my toe. Okay, guys, bring your right leg forward, twist to the right. Working that weight, so abdominals are lifted, working that trunk, let's slow it down. Here we go, slow, one, two, three, four more like this. Let's get ready for the left side, let's step the left side back, take it down, and up, down, and up, down, up. We got four more of these. Now notice it happens pretty quickly here. We're gonna do two more, and then we're gonna step forward with that left leg, and we're gonna twist it to the left rather quickly. Here we go, okay. quick twist. Making sure the hips are forward. You're twisting, holding those abdominals real tight. Let's slow it down, and slow, slow. Last four. We're gonna use the whole body. Release the hips as you use the arms. One, two. You're releasing those hips. The hips are going. We got eight more, last eight. Come back to center and just march it out. Here we go, and oh my gosh. Now that we've rested a little bit, let's just do step touch, step touch. Now this is gonna take us into a side lateral hop. I want you to pretend as if you're hopping over something. Here we go, and go, go. Now, imagine there's something down there and you don't want that something to get you. It's up after you, so you gotta hover up there. Step behind for eight, cross behind. 
Give me another set of eight. Here we go. Push it out. Push it. Bend into it. Okay, let's go into a slow jack. Hold for two and in. And now a quick step. In, out and in, and out and in. And slow jack again. Take it out and in. You bend. Come together. It's fast. Lateral hop. Lateral hop. We got eight. Now this is our combination. Eight laterals, eight cross behind. Cross behind for eight. And then we go into the slow jacks. Give me four more. Slow jacks for two. It's out and in. Now quick step for eight. A right, a left, a right, a left, a slow jack again. Go, boom. Now if that quick step's too quick, watch the modifier. Side lateral hops, you can do it. Hover, get some height. See the sky below you. Cross behind, push it. Five, six, slow jack time. It's out, it's in, it's out, it's a quick. Believe me, I know it. Slow jack, down, up, down, fast. It's the last time you can do it. Side lateral hop, go, boom. Four more. I'm crossing behind right now. I'm pumping. You gotta get yourself breathless. Slow jack for two. Fast, quick step. Slow jack for two. This is it. You got about 10 more seconds and you are done. You get to march it out right here and you earned it. Keep toning that lower body, but we gotta bring the heart rate down. So let's go into one-legged squats on your right leg. Take it down. That side lateral, out to the side. Take that leg at a diagonal. Take it all the way back. Let's repeat that. First a squat. Side lateral. When I go to that side lateral, I barely touch the toe. Now diagonal. We're gonna take this to a step side to side. Step out with the left, side to side, and add this arm movement. It's a swing, like you're swinging a bat. Eight more. You're loosening up the waist. Let's, now let's pull that right leg in and do the same thing on the other side. So first we start with the squat, then we go to the lateral, now the diagonal, all the way back, all the way around. It's the squat, side lateral. Now a diagonal. You're gonna step out with the right leg and swing it side to side. So get the bat out and swing it. Boom. Abdominals are lifted as you do this. Let's repeat that. So I want you to give me four more. Slide it in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Take it down. Leg goes out to the side. Now it goes back. Okay, we're gonna step that left leg out, swing it side to side and out. Got it. Now we're gonna now pull that left leg in, down. Take it out to the side. Push it back at a diagonal, all the way back. Step the right leg out and swing it out. Good job. This is the last time through. Bring it back to center and just march it out. Here we go. Okay, it's time to pick up the intensity. Your heart rate should be down now. We're ready for that next interval. Let's preview it. It's a shuffle to the right. Looks like this. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now march it out. We're gonna preview it one more time before we pick up the intensity. And it's shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. March it out, you ready to pick up the intensity? Whoo, here we go. And shuffle. March it out, but get those legs up there if you can. Let's try that again. It's shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now jog or march. Two more sets, just like that. Shuffle and go. Jog it out. One more time, here we go. And shuffle, shuffle. We're gonna add a new move, it's a repeater. Stepping with the right leg, bringing the left leg up three times, here you go. And other side, left leg goes. Now step with the right leg. Call the repeater, it's three knees, come up. You gotta challenge yourself now, you gotta push it. Watch our modifiers though. Pick the intensity that's right for you. Give me one more each side. We're gonna put it together with that shuffle step. From the top, ready to go, here we go, shuffle. Now put it together, here's the combo. It's a knees up, it's a knees up. Repeater, here you go, and repeater. One on each side, from the top, shuffle, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and knees go up, 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 higher, and a repeater, go. Other side, ready to do it from the top? 
You can do it, I know. One, two, three, one, two, three. Push yourself now. Knees come up. Repeater, right leg goes out. Hug that left leg up. Switch sides. From the top, last time. Knees come up. Now watch it, Dina, if you're a beginner. Watch the knees. Other side. Okay, I need 16 shuffles to finish this off. And one, two, three. Now go for it. Pump it. It's time to count them down. Count from eight. Here we go. Eight, seven. You can do it. Last five, three, two, and wash it out. And march it out. Take a deep breath. Okay, you need to bring the heart rate down. And to do that, you need to take a real deep breath. Okay, we're going to do a side step, side to side, starting on the right. Side to side, side step. Nice and relaxed. Make the movement small. I know my heart rate got up there, and I got to bring my heart rate down. So give me eight more like this. And then we're going to take the same move, and we're going to take it in a two-step to the right. Here we go. We're going to take it and hold it for a one-legged squat. Take it back now, two-step. Hold for a one-legged squat. Let's try that again. Arms go out. Boom. Hold for a one-legged squat and watch Robin. Notice the more advanced you get, you start to pick, pick up that inside leg. So you no longer use it for support. When you do that, you really start to see results in toning those legs and in your balance. Even if you can just do one. Okay, let's take it over here. We're going to hold for three squats. So hold it here. This is one. This is two. Give me one more. Now take it back. Down and up, down and up, down. We only have four more to go. Here we go, boom. Okay, the good news is you only have one interval left after this. Can you believe it? You've already gone through five intervals. So bring your heart rate down, get rested for that last interval so you can really push yourself. One more each direction. I wanna make sure you're sitting back into the squat. As you get tired, I don't want you to press those knees forward. I still want you to sit back. Come back to center, side tap, hands on center, side tap, hands on hips, side tap, now notice we're going to preview the next move, we're going to take it into a lunge. Let's pick it up, here we go, and punch, two, you got to give me 16 of these. Another set of eight, go for it now, eight, seven. We're going to take this move into a rear lunge, right leg steps behind. Here we go. You tap behind. You really don't transfer your weight. If you want to hop it, you can. Eight more. We're going to combine this with a step slide. So give me a rear lunge right here and step slide. Rear lunge, take it back. Here we go. Four more. We're going to take it from the top, lunge it out, and go. One, two, we got eight. This is the combination. Eight lunges, eight rear lunges, and eight slide lunges. Take it back. Eight. Give me four more. Now we add that slide. So give me one rear lunge and slide it. Take it back. Slide. Back. Slide. Make it big. Find some room. I know you might not, might not have much space in that house, but try to find the space. Lunge it out. Go. One. Almost there. Remember, this is interval six, so push yourself. Rear lunge. Go for it now. Four more. Rear lunge at the slide. Here we go. Four more. You got enough into you. Take it from the top. Last time. From the top. Go. Rear lunge, pump it, and go. Yo! Rear lunge with the slide. I'm feeling good. You gotta push yourself though, get out of breath. Ready to march it out? March it out. Oh, you did it. Good job. Guess what? No more intervals for the day. We gotta cool it down though. We're going to do the same thing with this marshes, except we're going to take it to an out, out, in, in. So it's out, in. 
Got to make the movement nice and slow so you can get that heart rate down. We still want to do a little toning on that lower body as we let our heart rate come down. Hold it out. This time, you go into a plie. Take it down. Now notice with my plies, knees are directly over my toes, I'm not arching my back, shoulders are relaxed. Dipping, coming in. As I come up, I really press into my heels so I can feel it in my inner thigh. Give me four more. We're gonna take this move into a wide squat. And all, the, all you have to do is turn your toes in and now stick your hips and buttocks back. So now it's as if I'm sitting back in a chair. I release the hips now. I wasn't doing that in the plies, but I release my hips as I'm sitting back. My weight's in the heels. Knees are not rocking forward. If you feel like you're too winded, only go halfway down. Last four. Four. We're going to take this into a balance move. You're going to step over to the right and bring your left leg up. Looks like this. Step right and hold. Now when I do this, notice I'm transferring my weight side to side. And then I have to regain my balance and stabilize myself. And to do that, I have to use my abdominals. I have to use my inner outer thighs. I have to really concentrate. And it's just what happens in everyday life. We're going to add a side leg lift to this. So we're going to take this to the side, hold it up there, extend the leg out, bring it back, and now slide it back to the other side. It's a little bit harder, a little trickier. If you have to, you can hold onto a chair when you're first starting out if you feel like this balance is too difficult. But it's great to work on balance. You're going to notice it's going to help you in your sport. It's going to help you in everyday life. And it's really going to help your posture. Because you can't have bad posture and keep your balance in these things, that's for sure. Last one, now you're going to step out with your right leg here and reach to the right, reach to the left. Now we're working the trunk section and what I want you to do is reach side to side. Let's do this, let's reach overhead, left arm goes first and now the right arm. Reaching overhead, you're slowly pulling through that side, reaching side to side. Give me eight more. We're going to do the same two moves, but we're going to break down the number of repetitions. So give me four reaches right and left. Here you go. And reach. Two. Overhead for four. Another set, just like that. You reach side to side, pulling through the rib cage. Now reach overhead. Two more sets all the way through. Guess what? We're almost done. You did a fantastic job. Remember, with these intervals, you really want to push yourself last time all the way through. During the interval part, you really want to recover during that act of recovery. Okay, let's drop the hands and let's take it down, grab a towel or a mat if you're not on a carpet, and let's stretch it out. If you feel your heart rate still elevated, take a few moments before you begin your stretches. Okay, let's start our stretches on the floor. I want you to round down. Support yourself on your thighs. Just round all the way into your mat or the carpet. Both knees are bent, and now pull the right leg into your chest. Knee is bent, and now I want you to extend that leg up. If you need to keep a slight bend, you can. Bend it back down. And now let's go a little further into that stretch, just a little further. You can hold onto the back of the thigh, or if you're more flexible, you can grab your calf. OK, now let's flex the foot. Flex it down and point it. And you'll notice when you're flexing, you really feel a stretch in the back of that calf. Point it back up, circle it around. And now circle the other direction. Let's take that straight leg, bend it across the opposite leg, and now grab onto the left thigh and pull that into your chest. And you'll feel a stretch through the outside of your right glute. To maintain the stretch, you want to make sure that right knee stays out. Extend that bottom leg down, straighten it out. And now let's do a spinal twist by dropping the right leg across your body as you extend the right arm and look over the right shoulder. Only go as far as you feel comfortable. You don't have to take it all the way down the floor. And make sure you keep the right shoulder down. Breathe into it. And exhale. 
Now inhale and come back to center. Both knees are bent again. Let's do the same stretches on the left side. Left knee comes in, straighten that leg. Bend it down, and again, this time when you straighten, go a little bit further. Feel slight tension, there shouldn't be any pain, just slight tension on that leg. You've worked these legs hard, you need to stretch them out, so let's flex it and point it. I love this flex right here because I really feel it in my calf and I really feel like I've worked my calves. Point it out again, circle it around, and now let's reverse the circle going the other direction. Bend that knee, drop it across the right leg, and pull that leg into the chest. Now you're gonna notice that you feel slightly different on each side, it's very natural. We're always more flexible on one side than the other. Straighten that leg out. And now from there, drop the left knee across your body, twist it out, and you'll feel a twist and a stretch to the lower back, through the hips, the buttocks. Look over that left shoulder and just relax. You can close your eyes if you'd like and just feel that stretch relaxing. Come back to center. Let's finish one stretch, grab onto your thighs and do one last big stretch where you pull your thighs into your chest. And now for inner thigh, legs are bent, both legs drop open. We reach out to the right side. You're using your hands for support here. Abdominals are tight. Let's bend the knee and let's do the other side. Now if you feel very flexible, if you feel confident in this, I want you to take both legs out and just hold them there. Feel a stretch to the entire inner thigh. Bend both knees in, bring them all the way in, and now let's roll to the front. So come toward me, roll forward. And now I want you to keep a flat spine, a neutral spine, so stay down, grab onto your ankle, and I want you to push into that arm as you press your hips forward and you're gonna feel a stretch through the front of the leg, through the quadricep, quadriceps. Of course, you need to keep those knees together. Let's circle all the way around. So we have to push ourselves up, come all the way around. Let's do the same stretch on the other side. This stretch should feel really good right now. We're finishing off with a quadricep stretch. Breathe into it. Keep the knees together. Hips are forward. And now release that leg and let's come on up. Do you know what a fabulous job you did? 40 minutes, you burned so many calories, I can't tell you. If you do this three times a week, you will have the most incredible body and get the best results. So keep up the good work. In order to get the maximum benefits from this workout, it's necessary to exercise in the correct training zone. First, determine your maximum heart rate. Subtract your age from 220 if you're a male and if you're a female, subtract your age from 226. We recommend that you work at about 80% of your maximum during the anaerobic work phase of the intervals and that you get your heart rate down to about 60% of your maximum during the recovery phases. To determine 80% of your maximum heart rate, simply multiply your maximum heart rate by 0.8. To determine 60% of your maximum, multiply your maximum heart rate by 0.6.